spots something in the distance. It's two sharks behaving rather strangely. He can't believe it. There, before his eyes, is what he has been waiting to see for the last 15 years. The two sharks are copulating. It's all over in an instant. The partners have already separated, but for the team, it's the breakthrough they'd hoped for. And for Jan, these few seconds are a reward for years of diving and patient observation. As he watches the female move slowly away, Jan knows that this will almost certainly be the greatest diving experience of his life. But today, Mother Nature has decided to be generous and offers Jan a second look. His camera is ready. Taking advantage of the female's exhaustion, a second male shark moves in and aggressively seizes one of her fins with his mouth. The two are carried away by the current. Jan struggles to keep them in view. The male shark appears to be having trouble penetrating the female. Two other sharks follow the couple, each awaiting a chance to move in. The male appears to give up. But in a flash, another male takes its place. Taking hold of her, the new contender positions himself for penetration. The female is barely moving, almost motionless. She's generating no forward momentum and taking in very little oxygen. The male keeps at her. Even the presence of Jan, who has moved closer for a better look, doesn't distract him. In a sudden, violent movement, he attaches himself to the female and penetrates her. The coupling has begun. Jan is about to film an extraordinary scene. The act itself looks extremely violent to our eyes. However, this copulation method has proven itself over thousands of years. It's a way of selecting both the most powerful males and the strongest females. It is one of the keys to the shark's survival. The physiology of female sharks reflects this rigorous selection process. To allow them to sustain the bites they receive, the skin of the female is twice as thick as that of the males. The wounds on the female's body are fairly shallow and help trigger ovulation. Male sharks have two copulatory organs, but only use one at a time. These organs are not erectile penises, but appendages formed from the inner edge of the pelvic fins. The coupling has been underway for five minutes. Both sharks are hardly moving and finding it increasingly difficult to breathe. They have positioned themselves head-on into the current. The water flows through their mouths and over their gills, providing them with oxygen. The current is keeping them alive, and the male struggles to maintain their position in it. One turn in the wrong direction and both sharks will be completely without oxygen. Easy prey for predators like the hammerhead. Jan is getting tired, too. He's been fighting the same current for more than 10 minutes, clinging to the coral, camera in hand. The coupling appears to be near its end. Meanwhile, the current continues to act like an artificial respirator, keeping the stationary sharks alive. With a sudden shudder, the male frees the female from his grip and swims off.